नमस्कार माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज नॉट वेरी सेंसेशनल नाइदर इज इट ट्रेंडिंग बट इट इज अ वेरी थॉट प्रोवोकिंग टॉपिक यू सी अ रिसर्च study in bristol university in uk had come out with a very interesting finding and the finding was that secular countries can expect economic growth what they said very simply is that if the country is secular if the society is secular then the chances of that country getting a good economic growth in the future is evident okay now this has been a topic of discussion amongst the the universities amongst the intellectuals global intellectuals for a long long time to figure out whether secularism brings a growth in economy because a lot of people have said in in the past too that you see non interference of religion in politics actually brings about uh, uh, economic growth in the country and if religion is involved in politics then there is it hampers the economic growth of the country it has been debated a lot there is an other very important aspect to this debate the important aspect to this debate is the question that whether the chicken comes first or the egg literally that is the question what they what people ask is does a country get economically developed and then become secular or does the country become secular first and then economically developed now there are two theories to it by two very big economists and sociologist in fact a gentleman called imael dekim a, a very big french sociologist he says that secularism brings about better economic growth for the society whereas max weber says the reverse he says better economic growth when the country is rich when the country is economically developed when the country has got a lot of money when the country's resources are far more than their needs then the country turns secular because their material needs are taken care of so they become secular anyway the debate is on and 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 the debate goes on but a research done by university of bristol in uk and the university of tennessee they did this research uh, by you know talking to uh, uh, a lot of people um, in the in the world it was a global research proved that when the uh, society practice secularism they normally end up developing their economy so this is this is what the bristol study proved now with this study let us go i with this study i wanted to talk to you about a, a country called bhutan a very interesting uh, uh, country and 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 a, and, a, and, a, and a country that practices a lot of different administrative and governance process why am i talking about bhutan the first thing i want to tell you about bhutan is bhutan's first democratic election happened in 2008 So it's a very young democracy, very young democracy, as young as ten year old. It's a decade old democracy. Bhutan's democracy, Bhutan's elections, they had a law. They instituted a law. The law says no religious leader can stand for political elections. They cannot. No religious religious leaders should be religious leader. Politician should be politician. They should not stand for elections. now the thing is if you actually see the society they actually see the community actually see bhutan as a country religious leaders are given a lot of respect in bhutan lot of respect they command a lot of respect and somewhere down the line the people of bhutan and the law makers of bhutan felt that let that be so let us not let us let them not use that influence and that popularity of theirs which they get through by spreading spiritualism into politics because according to bhutan then it spoils both spirituality and politics i thought it was a very interesting and a very nice law that they instituted i am sure a lot of you may have different opinion i am sure write it down please do write down and let me know your point of view on the same but this i thought i thought was very interesting since we are on the on the topic of uh, of of bhutan see there is one more very interesting thing about bhutan in india why in india globally we calculate our growth our growth by our gdp 
gross domestic product. Now the way gross domestic product is calculated is a, is a, is a system where we say C plus I plus G plus X minus M. That's the, that's, that's the formula. C plus I plus G plus into brackets X minus M, which is C stands for consumption. I stands for business investment. G stands for government uh, expenditure and X stands for expo exports and M stands for imports. So basically consumption plus invest business investment plus government expenditure plus gross exports minus gross imports. This will give us our GDP. This is the, uh, this is the normal formula of, cal of calculating GDP in India. Now in Bhutan, there is nothing called as GDP. They do not calculate GDP. They calculate something called as GNH, Gross National Happiness. Possibly they are not too bothered about how much money you make. They are more bothered as a community, as a society, they are more bothered about how happy you are. Very interesting thought, very interesting thought. Their, the way they calculate their GNH is also very interesting. While we take our exports, our expenditure, our consumption, our exp imports, etc, etc, etc into consideration, they take things like psychological well-being. They take things like health, education, time spent by a citizen, the way they use their time, cultural diversity, good governance, community vitality, ecological diversity and living standards. This is what they consider while calculating gross national happiness. So it's, they are not too bothered about what they export and what they import and the business investment and the business expenditure and the government expenditure and all of that. They say that possibly that is not, that may get us, make us rich, but that may not make us happy. But what will make us happy is our psychological well-being, is our health, is the way our citizens spend their time. I thought, I found this very fascinating. So I thought I will get it to your notice and that's exactly why I thought I'll do a editorial on this. So at times, it's also good to stop aping the West and what the other developed, so-called developed countries are doing and look at our good old neighbors who may be probably much more happier than us. In the World Happiness Index according to the, the World Monetary Fund and all, they are not because their calculation methodology is very different. Because happiness is a very individual thing. So that they may not. But the fact is, people say that People in Bhutan genuinely lead a more fulfilled and full life, a satisfied life. Namaskar. Aaj mere saath baatcheet mein shamil hone ke liye hain Raj Thakre. अगर इलेक्शन के पहले एक अलग आदमी दिखता है और इलेक्शन के बाद प्रधानमंत्री बनने के बाद एक अलग ही आदमी दिखता है मैनिफेस्टो में था क्या कि हम लोग नोट बंद करेंगे देखिए पहली बात तो यह है कि सिंगल लार्जेस्ट पार्टी बीजेपी भी हो सकती है और कांग्रेस भी हो सकती है आप उनको प्रधानमंत्री देखना चाहेंगे किसको नितिन गडकरी को अगर सत्ता आए तो न अगर आए तो अगर आए तो न और वो बनाए तो न ये बीजेपी वालों ने अभी ये कैंपेन शुरू किया के शरद पवार सब कर रहे हैं शरद पवार सब कर रहे हैं क्योंकि जो मैं सवाल पूछ रहा हूं उनके जवाब नहीं है बीजेपी वालों के पास कांग्रेस अब चाहती है कि आप दूसरे राज्यों में भी प्रचार करें मैं ऐसा कोई प्रस्ताव नहीं प्रस्ताव अगर आए तो नहीं करूंगा नमस्कार HW News Network today is a year and a half old. Thanks to your support, thanks to your love, we've grown. We require your support a little more. 
what we request you to do is to download our free app our app is in english hindi and marathi we promise to update you with the latest news views analysis interview we also have a live tv going in that if you download our app we will get advertisers and if we get advertisers we'll get revenue we get revenue we can serve you better so once again please do support us please download our app namaskar